Hey guys, it's KJ from the Scariest Movie Ever channel on YouTube. And I've recently been looking at a few different events here and drawing a few connections. I wanted to share some of this with you. It's important for you to understand that you don't need to be religious or even spiritual for that matter to understand what I'm about to show you. These are real events that are taking place now and have been for the last few years all around the world. And I'm going to clearly show you how all the religions are being pulled into one. And you may think this doesn't concern you, but it certainly will. It's going to concern everybody across the face of this planet. The other thing is that we were told that something like this was going to happen a couple thousand years ago in the Bible itself. And I know, I know, there's people out there that disregard the Bible and think all this stuff is bogus. But if you look up the scriptures for yourself and realize what it's saying, that there is coming a one-world order, a one-world religion, a one-world monetary system, a one-world government and an antichrist leader. And then you take a look around the world as it is right now and as it's been changing the last few years, there's no denying that all of those things are happening now. We're literally watching the antichrist kingdom being created before our very eyes. And Pope Francis is certainly playing a huge role in all of this. After all, he is the Jesuit Pope. If you don't know anything about the Jesuits, I highly suggest you look into them. Because the Jesuits themselves play a massive role in the coming New World Order. They're a big brick in the pyramid of that beast system. So we have to listen to what the Pope's saying. you got to listen to what he's saying. And here's one of the stories right here. Pope Francis is saying that spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ is no different than waging jihad. Basically, he's saying that this, right here, ministering to somebody else, spreading the gospel, introducing people to Jesus Christ, he's saying that this is the same as this. Preaching the gospel is the same as this right here to Pope Francis. And now here's just one example of how they're absorbing all the religions into one. U.S. Lutherans approve historic agreement with Catholic Church. The Lutherans approved a declaration recognizing that there are no longer church dividing issues on many points with the Roman Catholic Church. Here's another example. So of course they're going after the Muslims as well, right? It's going to be every religion in one. Muslims go to Catholic Mass across France and Italy to show solidarity. All of these are steps. They're all steps in that general direction of a one world religion. A new interfaith and spiritual gathering of Christians, Jews, and Muslims will take place in Jerusalem this September. So it actually just passed. From September 4th to the 23rd is an initiative created by the Jerusalem Season of Culture, an annual festival in Jerusalem to bring together the world's three major faiths who share a belief in one God and a boundless love for Jerusalem to dialogue, study, sing, and pray together in one temporary house of worship. We will study, argue, yes, this is also allowed, and pray together in alone. We will see if it is possible, despite all the corporal difficulties and earthly obstacles, to create a new reality. Then, of course, you can't forget the Christians, right? So the Pope and Hillsong, Hillsong Church, will unite together 2016 in Washington, D.C., now, in this case right here, the symbols really do speak for themselves. Pope Francis visits Sri Lanka. This happened about a year ago. You see the symbols on stage once again combining all the world religions. Pope Francis delivers a speech during an inter-religious meeting. Now, this was actually called the Warp Summit, World Alliance of Religions. It's a peace summit. But once again, the symbolism, I believe, speaks for itself here. On the bottom, you have the rainbow. In the middle you have the twin pillars, and on the top you have the red sun. And symbols have a language all their own, right? So even with this rainbow flag thing, it reminds me of how the LGBT community has literally co-opted the rainbow for themselves. So now every time you see a rainbow flag, you think of the LGBT community. And with the language of symbols, we always go back to the original meanings, right? So with the rainbow, we can actually trace that back to the Bible itself. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So this was the original meaning for many of us of the rainbow. And now in 2016, this is the way the world wants to represent the rainbow. 
So with this meeting they had, the Together 2016 meeting at the National Mall, tons of symbolism all around this thing. Even starting with the basics right here, you have the red and the blue represented on both sides. And it means a lot of different things. You can actually go back to Freemasonry and you can find the Red Lodge and the Blue Lodge. I've shown in a lot of other videos in the past that the colors red and blue flickering at a certain rate is a form of mind control. Somebody else understood this concept when they created the police lights being both red and blue and flickering at such a quick rate. I believe this is one of the reasons why when you get pulled over and you see those lights in the mirror, right, you freeze up. And remember, when it comes to symbols, we always go back to the original meanings of this symbol. So I was actually pretty surprised how prominent the Ouroboros, the snake eating its own tail, was. It was all over the place. You can see it right here on the stage. And if you didn't know, going back to the original meanings, the Ouroboros symbolizes the end of time. And we're seeing this symbol prop up more and more in a lot of places as well. It actually played as a Super Bowl ad last year with Liam Neeson for LGTV. And in this commercial, he was called the man from the future. And at one point in the commercial, you actually find the Ouroboros. And just on a side note, I've covered this subject in a few different videos, but I firmly believe these new LGTVs and also a lot of your smartphones and cell phones are literally black mirrors, or scrying mirrors. And scrying mirrors have been used throughout history by occultists, pagans, witches to contact the other side, or to summon up spirits from the other side. And speaking of scrying mirrors, portals, even reflecting pools, it's very interesting once again, we found that also at the Together Reset. The Washington Monument itself is a representation of Osiris's penis. We add to that the Ouroboros, which is the end of time. The representation of Osiris right in front of a reflecting pool. The reflecting pool itself is also another example of a scrying mirror. A black surface, a portal. So the reset is the end of time, or the end of this age as we know it and the beginning of the final reign of the Antichrist, or Osiris, which is a representation of that. They also represent the inverted world, the as above, so below paradigm. Just below you see Jesus changes everything, and they have the changes backwards and upside down. Inversion, as above, so below, is also represented in the reflecting pool. Now we look into the language of this Together Reset. There were a lot of videos that came out of people holding up their phones like this, with hashtag I am together. The I am also reminded me of the Invictus games just happened recently and you can see where the I am is kind of singled out right? Even more appropriate they have it on the pyramid right here. So we go back to the original meaning of I am. I am just happens to be another name for Yahweh, for God. This is the name revealed to Moses when Moses asked what name he should give to the Israelites if they asked what his name was. This is the same title that Jesus used many times in the great I Am's during his earthly ministry. It is the self-existent one. We are human beings, but God is simply being, meaning he had no beginning and will have no ending. God told Moses to tell them, I am that I am, or I am the self-existent, uncreated one, meaning that I have always been and will always be. And all of that brings us current to 921.16. Now this recently just happened, it was called The Gathering. This was an event in America that pulled all the different religious denominations together into one. What's most important to understand here, again we're going back to symbols, the most blatant, most obvious uh, Illuminati symbol, or symbol of the beast system, is right there in front of your face. And it's the pyramid with the sun, look at that, the A, is the pyramid with the sun. Think about that for a second. They did not have to make it that way. But the pyramid with the sun is one of the most obvious symbols for a lot of us of, again, the Illuminati or the satanic beast system, the one world beast system, because ultimately all of this is going to lead to the worship of the devil, worship of Lucifer. These are Luciferians we're dealing with. They give you just enough truth to bring you in. And here's one more thing I want to leave you with. All the stuff we're talking about, the one world religion, right? Pulling all the religions together. All this has been represented through Freemasonry for ages as well. Because these are the builders, these are the architects. 
on the highest level, these are the people that for many centuries have been actually creating this system. They've been putting all the bricks in place. But it certainly seems like they're getting close. They're getting close to fruition. A one world order, a one world religion, a one world system. The big difference when all this stuff plays out between us and them, not just Freemasons, I'm saying them, all the people in the world that accept what's coming, this Antichrist kingdom, this one world religion, the big difference between all of us is going to be that we follow Jesus Christ, that we believe that you need Christ to make it to heaven. The rest of the world, the rest of the world is going to be against that. Again, they're going to pull all your religions into one. This is going to be Luciferian. It's literally going to be the worship of Lucifer, or the Antichrist, the embodiment of the devil in this world. And the one thing they'll be leaving out is Jesus Christ. So I'll leave you with that, guys. I just wanted to show you how, how close it is. I certainly believe we're in that season. These are things I've been watching for a very long time. And I hope it helps. I don't make these kind of videos to scare you. I'm hoping that I'm preparing you. Alright? And take care out there. Thank you very much for checking out the video.